Good morning, first grade. We have another deep dive today, and we're going to start off the deep dive by playing a little game similar to charades. So if you've never played charades before, that is where someone acts something out and then someone else tries to guess what they're doing. But uh, instead of guessing, I'm going to give you a word and I want you to act out what you would look like if you were this word, okay? And I will play as well. So the first one is, if you were proud, what would you look like if you were proud? I might look something like this, you know, kind of holding my head high, a little smile on my face. Did you do something similar? Nice. All right. What about if you were happy? What would you look like if you were happy? Yeah, right. Did you have a big smile on your face? Yeah, very good. What about if you were sad? How would you look if you were sad? Kind of sigh a little, maybe a frown. What about if you were excited? How would you look if you were excited? Yeah, right. I'd be going like this. Yay. Yeah. Did you do something like that too? Nice. And then lastly, what if you what if you were mad? What would you look like if you were mad? Yeah, you know, my arms crossed, my nose is kind of you know crunched up, my face, I have a frown, my eyebrows are, you know, my eyes are kind of in a glare. That's what I would look like if I were mad. Well, all of those words, what did all of those words have in common? Yeah, they were all words that described feelings, right? Happy, mad, sad, proud. Those were all feelings, types of feelings. And those words that describe feelings are a type of word called adjectives. Do you remember hearing about adjectives before? Yeah, in our previous modules, we have learned about the word adjectives, and there are different types of adjectives. And today we're going to focus on adjectives that tell about how someone's feeling or how someone is acting. But there are adjectives that can tell about um, which one or how many or how something looks, feels, tastes, smells. Uh, those are all different types of adjectives. So adjectives are words that describe nouns. Right, so the boy is happy, the girl is sad, the man was proud. Those are all adjectives that describe nouns. And we're going to preview uh, our new text, Feelings. Now, if you're watching this after our live class this afternoon, you will have already heard this. If not, you're getting a little preview of some of the pages from this. And we are going to keep our eyes and ears open for some adjectives on these pages, specifically adjectives that tell about how someone is feeling and how someone is behaving, okay? So again, adjectives are words that describe nouns, and there are different types of adjectives, like how many, the color, the size, the shape, how something tastes, smells, feels, but also how something is acting or how someone or something is feeling. Okay, so we're gonna focus on the feeling words today. Okay, so we're going to use this organizer to help us keep track of the new adjectives that we hear and learn from the text. So in the center, it says, how does someone behave and how is someone feeling? So that's what we specifically want to be looking for and listening for, and we'll add this to our chart, okay? All right, so I'm gonna read one, uh, one particular page from the book Feelings. So I will see you over in the book. Okay, there we are. All right, I'm going to read this page, and every time you hear a word that you think is an adjective that describes how someone is feeling or acting, you can give a thumbs up, okay? Ready? All right, how do you feel? Angry, sad, happy, lonely, strong, no, brave, oh, 
shy, insulted, cold, I, I mean scared. We had that one, angry, furious, furious, excited, impatient, proud, gimme, gimme, selfish, hmm, shy, quiet, how do you feel? Fine, thank you. All right, so we heard a lot of different adjectives that describe how someone is feeling or acting on this page. Let's see if some of the ones that I came up with are the same as what you came up with. Okay, so if we look at our chart here, uh, I've added some of the words from the text. Quiet, strong, lonely, angry, sad, happy. Those are all, again, examples of adjectives that can help to explain and describe how someone is behaving and how someone is feeling. Let's look at one more page from the text and see if you can find some more adjectives. Okay, let's go back. Just one moment. And actually, I'm going to move over here so I can read this page. This is called The Paper Airplane. So listen for and give a thumbs up when you hear an adjective that describes how someone's feeling or behaving or acting. This is your conscience speaking. Don't do it. Oh. Damien, did you throw this? I told you. She caught me. He feels ashamed. My face is hot. Come here. He feels embarrassed. I shouldn't have done it. He feels guilty. What's going to happen? He feels afraid. Is she going to tell? I warned you. He feels humiliated. I'll have to punish you. I'll bet he's sorry. I'm sorry. Remember that next time. He will. Nothing is worth this. Crime does not pay. All right, so uh, maybe uh, this has definitely sparked my interest in wanting to read the rest of this text, so we will get to do that in our next live class, uh, but in our afternoon live class. But in this text and this part that we just read, did you hear some adjectives that describe how someone's acting or feeling? Yeah, I heard a bunch. Let's go back and put them on our chart. Okay, so some of the ones that I really picked up on. Sorry, humiliated, afraid, ashamed, embarrassed, guilty, right? So guilty, you feel bad about something that you did. If you're ashamed, you know, you also, that's that's along the same lines as, as feeling guilty that you're just, you kind of don't want anybody to know about it. Um, it's kind of embarrassed and guilty, humiliated if you're, you know, embarrassed is here. I would say humiliated is up here on our shades of meaning, right? Humiliated is being really, really, really embarrassed. So did you notice some of these words too? Great job. All right, so one final question before we finish up with this. Why do you think adjectives are important? Why do you think adjectives are important? Yeah, if you were thinking that they help us to communicate more clearly, just like a lot of these deep dives we've been working on about, you know, matching nouns and verbs and learning about using the correct demonstratives and, you know, all of the different deep dives, shades of meaning, these these topics all help us to communicate more clearly so that when we're speaking or writing, uh, other people can understand what we're trying to say and we can really, um, you know, get across what we want to get across. And adjectives just make things a lot more interesting. You know, when you're reading and if there were no adjectives, it would be really hard to make a mental picture in your head as you're reading, right, or, or visualization. It would just make things, you know, not not as interesting, right? It adds a lot of detail and it makes it interesting, okay? All right, so for today's activity, all I would like you to do is type or write one adjective on the student response page that tells about how someone is feeling or how someone might be acting. And it can be from the text, 
that we looked at today. It can be from our uh, charts, or if you think of a different adjective that tells about feelings, uh, feel free to share that instead. Okay, so just one word, and then you can send it back, and we'll keep talking about this. And I hope you have a great rest of your day, and thanks so much.